going to be Mute Ace versus Shattuck. Yep, Mute Ace versus Shattuck, bro. The Texas Classic, we've seen these guys play each other so, so many times before in championship game situations. Well, this isn't a championship game situation, but we're approaching there very, very fast. Yeah. This is winner's finals, ladies and gentlemen. So Mute's going to be going up against Shattuck, as you said earlier. And, man, both of these high, 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 high-level players at the King of Bombs facing off. Yeah, man, and uh, we've uh, we've all uh, they've uh, battled their way all the way here, not dropping the uh, not dropping the losers at all over here in winners, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Shattuck has dropped maybe like one game at most, at most. So the fact that the fact that you know uh, they made it that far with not too much opposition uh, is going to be crazy. I mean, look, this is a matchup that you know, in case you guys uh, you know watching at home aren't 100% uh, aware of, one of the few people. To cons to, that is that is able and can consistently take multiple sets off of Mudes, Shattuck. You know, like obviously, you know, sometimes you know, some like Nico got one last year, but then like s like not a 6-0, but just like Grand's 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 reset, right? right? And then you know, uh, we see, but then we see, you know, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, right? Shattuck and Lima, Lima technically obviously still being Texas in the summer during the holidays, but you know, Shattuck is like the only person that you know Mudes has to like really lock in again sometimes so uh this is going to be one of those like one of those it could be a slobber knocker could also just be a three zip one way so yeah the top three in the state and this might just go the distance ladies and gentlemen so yeah potentially game 15 you know game five winners finals game 10 grants potentially on the horizon obviously we still got some more people in the losers bracket running it in i'm pretty sure spritzy still wreaking havoc as well yeah so, I'm, I'm looking i'm paying i'm trying to pay close attention to his run and Spritzy is, uh, he's playing against Ananthema. He's trying to get in the loser semis, and Zai's gonna be going up against Atomic. Yeah, absolutely. You know, those, those I, I've, one of them I think is already, ha Spritzy's is already happening. Uh, obviously, you know, just, uh, just a, a little bit of a housekeeping situation for you guys at home. Don't worry, we really wanted to stream all these on one stream, but you know, just because of time constraints, we gotta run out of the other one. So if you're at home on a computer, just throw up that other tab, go watch Turnip Cafe on Twitch as well. So, uh, you know, um, but for now, we are on the winner's side uh, of things. Winner's finals gonna get started right here. So, you know, we thank you guys for watching. And obviously, like, it's been it's been a fun time. It's been fun to just hang out. It's been fun to kind of just meet, see everyone, meet a bunch of new people as well, see the runs that some of these players have been making for sure, so. But. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, you got to get the splitters. Got to get the splitters with the monitor working. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That game audio is serious. I'm not lying to you. They take it seriously, man. Yeah. They, they, they need to make sure, like, I hear everything. But honestly, like, I'm right there with them. Like, I don't, you know, who wants to play a game on mute? That's really weird. Yeah. Sound cues that you got to hear, things playing of a, that nature. Playing a game against mute on mute. Yeah. Torture. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty bad, yeah. You'll know, you'll know what's going on. Yeah, no idea. I mean, look, I can play with sound and still not know what's going on. That's, that's why I'm here, man. I'm just, it's right I'm here and not over there so <laughs> that's crazy but yeah i mean this is uh again to no one's surprise uh you know the the marquee matchup that we're all waiting for um you know uh Mides versus shattuck and obviously like in losers like you said uh zyatomic and uh spritzy and anathema also rocking it as well so lots of peach lots of rob right we saw yamanak make a run also uh, I believe, what was it, top eight, ninth, seventh, ninth, something like that? Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, you know, we have Mute Ace, so that's two Peaches. Memphis earlier, uh, another, you know, all the, the three top Peaches were here uh, at the tournament today, which was cool. And then we saw, obviously, we saw uh, Anathema, uh, we saw Atomic, then there's also Cosma as well, and Grayson as well. We had four top-level Robs, high-level Robs, whatever you want to call it, also here today. So It's um, Texas, so it's only, yeah. uh, it only makes sense, right? It's the land of the Robs. Anathema's like, I'm home. <laughs> I made it home. But, yeah, this one's going to be really cool. I feel like the... Um, where where Peach wants to consistently be, I feel like Shattuck has a really good time just, you know, throwing out the hitboxes. Like, mainly at the end of that game against Zai, that game three was more of, like, Shattuck just overwhelming, just covering everything. He had nowhere to go. Right. And I feel like he has a really good time doing falling up air, doing nair, doing bear against Mutes. And I think that might be where uh, Shattuck might get his cash money off of that. So, um, but, you know, we're going to see how things are panning Chris. out right now. So, um, yeah, we got it. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. So, can you go to my trunk and grab a jacket out of my trunk? So, so trunk. many homies here though. It's uh, as you walk outside, it's on the sidewalk in the parking lot. Yeah. Uh, 
Maroon, Maroon Honda, yeah. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, jacket out of, out of the trunk, out of the trunk. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. It is cold venue. in here. It is cold it's in here. It's cold in this venue. I got, I got, a, I got a thin boy. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little chilly. I'm yeah, they're line, trying to so. get the sound. They're trying to get the sound worked out. Sony makes really nice headphones. Not exactly user friendly to people who you just give them to though. So you know what yeah. I'm saying. We're just waiting on technical difficulties. Yeah, but we thank you for being here. It's been fun. Oh it's yeah, been real fun. So, um, yeah, it's been it's been again, time and time again. It's been a great event. I have no idea what's going on. Those can be uh, they're trying to get they're trying to get audio. Yeah, but like they're trying to get audio, but they like just unplug the monitor. <sighs> so, this is a. Uh, Been real, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, probably tell some jokes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, but but yeah, like I was saying earlier, like again, like the big thing is trying to get these matches done asap, just because uh, you know we do have like time constraints in the venue. So, uh, gotta gotta take care of business. But you know, thankfully, uh, we had some pretty uh, we ha we have at least the, you know the side the side stream as well. Get to make a get to put a lot of sets on there too. Yeah, so. tos, please. Uh, splitters, splitters, splitters in the in the <laughs> splitters in the monitors. Pretty please with sugar on top. Put the splitters in the monitors, bro. Yeah, imagine like a, a monitor with a built-in splitter. That would be pretty cool too. Oh yeah, revolutionary pretty stuff. Sick. Revolutionary. Way outside the Smash Brothers pay grade, but hey. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> I think we're. Uh, I think they're they're ready to go though, which is kind of nice. I think they're already ready. Um, so this one, uh, this one's gonna be the uh, heavily anticipated matchup right here. Winners finals of King of Bombs one, Mutes Shattuck. It's it's uh, it's time to it's time to let's get it. Here we go. So already starting it off now. This air mobility might come. This air mobility might come in a bad way right here for uh, for Mutes just because, you know, with a sword and the mobility of Corrin, it can be so easy just to snipe her out of the air. Like, it can be so e it can be so difficult to easily just kind of just target her and make sure that she just uh, doesn't get that much air mobility, especially, but the oh, SD, no. that is unfortunate. You hate to see that for sure. I mean, against, uh, against uh, a... An opponent as formidable as Mutes, you cannot give those stocks away just like that. But Shadow turning it up a little bit. We see a little bit of a change in aggression right here. Finds the falling fair into the back here. Great stuff. Bread and butters right here. Looking prime to just take a, take the stock almost immediately with no, no pep in the step. No signs of slowing down right here. Run it back right. Put him in the corner. Put him at the ledge. Try to find the tipper pin. The two frame. No one home for it, unfortunately. But Shadow right here finds it and back to even. Just, just like that. He was just like, no problem, man. Yeah, that insta pin just has just a, a ridiculous. That insta pin just has like a ridiculous amount of pressure on him, man. So at the time, we see that Shadow just has like a, even a slight gap. They can easily just like pop it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, but so far looking, so far looking great. Uh, right here, you know, 78% on the Shattuck though. Mutes can uh, can he continue to put Shattuck in the corner? Those fall, those falling aerials, right? We talked about it earlier. The falling up air is the one that that that's like the big money because it covers so much, and then you basically have just like imagination as well. So that's uh, that's the, definitely uh, one of the one of the breadwinners for Shattuck in this matchup right here. Mutes though gonna have to you know potentially angle the shield up a little bit, potentially try to get away from those falling aerials. We go and we see that like Mutes is uh, constantly trying to approach ledge after getting up from it from with down air and just trying to make sure that they have some type of approach, you know, against Shattuck and Shag doesn't do any moves for free. But Shattuck is sniping these out with up airs and another stock gone, gonna be able to up you back to the platform. The turnip defense not really working out for uh for Mutes uh, currently at this moment. Yeah, I think the fact that oh that was so smart. Understanding where Shattuck wanted to go, Mutes just laying that back here. But I feel like the edge guards with the turnips can be really hard because if Shattuck does the early up B, the armor of the up B ends up going through the turnip anyways. Because that's something that Mutes also gets a lot of mileage, just getting those snipes and getting those reco gimp gimping those recoveries. But Shattuck doing a really good job, having really good awareness of just recovering a little bit sooner, recovering a little bit earlier, and able to hang on to that stock. But right now, Mutes looking really good, 96. 
already uh, potentially approaching the end of the first game. Uh oh, here we go. But like I said, that is the pendant. We're always going to see Shadow underneath that platform, jockeying for position, especially off of a, off of an edge guard, and looking for that pin, either going left or right. But you see the pin being used for an escape tactic, right? And he barely, barely is able to get that grab right there. The pin not going to be able to land right here. Another forward throw, and here we go on ledge. Trying to escape the up airs right here is Mudace. And Mudace doing really, really well. Jockeying for position right here. Be able to get the back air. Catches the turn up. Able to up B through that turn up. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. That pin still worked. The back air, is he going to steal the game away? No, another chance at life for Mudace. Man. Wow, and waited, but doesn't get the pin. Oh no, but gets the back air. Shattuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Bit of a scramble right there. No big deal but still gets that first game. Wow. After the SD, too. Yeah. After the SD, he says no problem. Oh, my God. That was that was, that was was pretty that was pretty nice to watch. I'm actually, like, that was kind of crazy. I'm not even going to lie to you. That's uh, That was that was definitely a, a comeback, uh, to say the very he least. He won that game. He caught the turnip. Yeah. He won that game. Z caught it and then was able to armor through the second turnip with the up B and then found his way back. Yeah. That back air kill screening that early, though, was actually kind of insane, though, too. The first one that didn't kill, I'm like, oh. And then the counter, the the, the, the spaghetti, I was like, oh, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was I was like, whoa, why would you do that? And then the pin sent them up. I was like, wait. <laughs> that was crazy. That was uh, that was definitely a, what a way to end that first game. Shaddock stealing it away. Mides looked primed to take that game. And now getting a change of scenery. And these two, these two don't play around, man. They, they listen to you. Yeah. No, no PS2 the whole time. We're doing counterpicks. Yeah, use your counterpicks, dog. Like that, that's instrumental. And once you get at this level of uh, at this level of competition, bro, you need to just use this. Here we go. And speaking of which, use it. They shall. Mute Ace able to get that quick 52%. But man, the juggles so so well. So uh, doing so so well. Ah, uh, that pin. Oh my goodness. Single from the other side right here. But the back air and Mute Ace is having. A lot of difficulty right now getting back to stage and it's costing him big. One stock gone. Yeah, one stock gone. I mean, that's kind of the situation where, like, if Mutase jumps from ledge, Shadok has so much coverage, right, with the falling up air with the back air, right? So that, and, you know, at low percents, that falling up air confirms into all the other moves. And then at the higher percents, the back air is definitely the one that's going to get you the stocks right here. Mutase, though, trying to fight accordingly. 117, trying to find potentially the stock right here as well. No SDs on Shadok this time around at the beginning for game number two. So I'm wondering how far he can kind of take it right here. Can he play? enough defense to get some good extra credit and the classic mutase rng the bomb coming in not gonna get anything but does get the slot well fitting for the tournament right he had to get at least one right yeah yeah absolutely i mean look mutase is one that i feel like we've normally see i feel like i've seen mutase pull out bomb a million times like the rng gods are, are, are with us you know what i mean right so but yeah so far having shadok in the corner and what a response from mutase now Definitely playing this a lot differently this time around. And just not necessarily going for crazy overextensions, just getting the bread and butter constantly, right? Just uh, 10 like 20, 30% here, 20, 30% here. And now we have a big lead right now for Mudez. Yeah, Mudez needs to make sure that they find a way to just like get the stock quickly as possible, just because once uh, the pins come through at like, you know, 60%, the disadvantage becomes that much more worse. And he's gonna be able to get that stock right there, uh, Mudez, and now Mudez, and kind of like, you know, take their foot off the gas a, a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, but those nares out of shield also really good. It's just because they confirm into all the other buttons too, right? Like that nair out of shield, like troll hop, and then you just get back there, you get up air, or you get fair, and then you just rinse and repeat. And right now, Shattuck looking primed to just not play too far behind. I mean, the, these two so evenly matched. It's honestly such a treat to watch. Oh, yeah. but the, the turn up. Oh. Okay, that's wow. scary. And he dodged, he dodged the nair off the off the float, but it but, but still got hit with everything else. The back air still not gonna do it here. And goes out and gets Mudace. So here we go. 71%. Shattuck, quite a mountain to climb, but Mudace, big, big lead. Yeah, huge lead right now. Looking prime to looking prime to take this right now, uh, potentially. If uh Mudace can hang on and just maintain this lead. And he's gonna back it right there, gets the nair. Great stuff. I mean that oh! And you're gone. Very, yeah. very, very, very good turn to place him right there. And Mutes going to be able to escape that game. 
Yeah, delay the delay the up beat just a little bit too long. If you do it the, if you do it earlier, it actually armors through the turn up. Yeah. But if you do it a little bit too late and wait for the start up, that turn up is just gonna fall slowly but surely and snipe you out. And that's what we saw the you know that's what we saw right there. So. It's very very well done. Yeah, New Day staying in the set one one. Yeah, staying in the set, staying alive. I mean, again. You mentioned it earlier, and I wouldn't disagree with you. This might go the distance, so uh, definitely not not a surprise to anyone for sure. Yeah, but if it's any two players that it's going to go the distance, it's, it's these two, right? These two have played each other many, many times before, and uh, these two uh, just have so much experience at the high level. So if there's any, if it was any uh, any place that it was going to go, it was going to go, you know, five games. For, especially for these two players. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It was crazy how we saw the Shattuck start game one, game two so strong. We saw him the, the way he was able to just th throw out all this coverage, throw out the hitbox and the range, right? Uh, every time Yudis was trying to get out of the corner, Shattuck was there, ready to cover with Bear, ready to cover with Up Bear, ready to cover with Nair. Uh, you know, the Nair's out of shield, so you can't pressure too much, too. But then Yudis was just turning it up as well, just fine, like, just clawed his way back slowly but surely, slowly but surely, ended up getting the game. So a reward for his efforts right there. Uh, Shattuck, though, looking again. I love it, man. I love the counter picks. I love the counter picks. Yeah, keep it, keep it familiar, man. Understand what your opponent wants, and Battlefield going to be really, really good for Peach. Uh, excuse me. Corrin. Uh, Corrin uh, going to be really, really good for Corrin, excuse me. Uh, able to not only escape these combos, but like I said, extends the mobility and extends the combos that, uh, that Shattuck can do. Yeah, the pressure, right? The pressure. Like, normally, you go to Battlefield, uh, you know, a lot of characters that maybe lack a little bit of mobility sometimes, they have an extra option. They have an extra escape route. But the thing is, is Shattuck and Corrin in general just cover these platforms so well. Like, falling, uh, like, short hop up there just covers the entire platform. So you have to be really, really careful right there, uh, you know, if you're Mute Ace. But, you know, obviously, Mute Ace having a lot of benefits on the stage as well. Obviously, if not, he'd probably ban it, so so far uh looking uh so good no counter picks uh no problems right if you're mute ace 129 percent and, and mute ace seriously add now we've seen like the gameplay that uh, for mute ace literally just switch up right in front of our eyes we see that mute ace is literally playing a little bit more conservative trying to just stay at a distance throw turn up not willing to overcommit because it's been bad news for them so far trying to get things like nares not gonna be able to get the turn up right there but Juggles coming out for, oh, oh my god, the fall through the platform. Juggles coming out through for Shattuck. Shattuck, big, 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 big offensive burst right here. The back air, and that's going to actually kill with yeah. the range. You saw the fact that he was able to fall through the platform and still sneak in that area. Oh, you're dead. Goodbye. Yeah, that's tough. Jumped a little bit too early right there. Yeah. Uh, ended up getting sniped. But that's, that's also, a, that jump that early is also something we haven't seen all set. So, you know, Shattuck definitely just presenting these different ideas in the matchup. Some things maybe work, some things maybe don't work in that situation. So, obviously, that might be something you just have to go back to the drawing board, right? You got to you gotta make it back because Mute Ace eventually is going to snipe out your recovery. Uh, no matter how consistent you can be, you always got to mix it up. So. Speaking of mixing it up, finally, Mute Ace having a chance defensively double for stool nothing going to be found here he does get the up air though yeah the fact that air dodge through that too that's so good he was able to just sneak right by uh, and, and you know and find some footing right here but the air dodges and again those like mini resets on the platform if you're Corrin, just allow you to pressure and take you know take me to the sky so effortlessly as well so there's a pin no doesn't go for the pin I feel like um, that's something we haven't really seen a ton by Shattuck is try to go for those two uh, two frames with the pin. Yeah. But I, I assume I assume we'll see that eventually as well. Just again, just gotta mix up the options in the way that he wants to punish Mides for recovering. But right here tries to find the aerial in the back here. Definitely can get something going. The nair works out. The back here also works out right there. Great stuff from Shattuck. The counter pick looking to looking to work out so far in his favor. And again, these are the resets, right? You get your jump back, and you know you have that you have that menacing coverage with your aerials. And Mudez has to has to wait and try to react to the options. And, and another thing that like you know Mudez definitely wants to find his way like to stay at platform lane just because he can you know get these turnip snipes going. That's a main one of the main ways that they've been able to really you know shut uh, Shattuck down and Shattuck so far. Getting these insta pins right here and staying at distance and not willing to give it up and catches the 
Oh, what an up B. <laughs> With the wake up. <laughs> right, wake, wake up, up DP. Up B, wake right? up DP, bro. That's crazy. It's just like. <laughs> That was wild. Oh my god. No, able to catch the, the stun right here. Try to got a ton of extra credit in that stock too. Yeah. Gonna lose that stock with that 105, man. I mean a falling aerial into the back air, or just the back air itself is just gonna work regardless. And Shattuck taking a 2-1 lead over Mute Ace. I mean Yeah, that was just I mean that was just textbook like that's that that's just the that's just the stage counter big working out for Shattuck. Yeah, like you said, extending extending the combos uh, on the platforms in a very very big way, and now, yeah. you know, Shattuck with an opportunity to try to close out this set to try to get in the grand finals on the uh, winner's side. Yeah, and uh, Mudeace has just been not having a lot of difficulty, but man, these uh, these offensive tirades have been going kind of back and forth for him. Yeah. They haven't really been you know dominant. But, like, in this war of attrition of offense, he's been on the losing side of him so far. So here we go. Yeah. It's 2-1. Yeah. And Mudeis has to find a way to just stay in the set right here. And Shattuck looking to close it out. And here we go on Hollow Bastion. Let's see who moves on and who don't. Yeah, can we get another game right here from Mudeis? Or are we going to see Shattuck with the, again, on paper, upset. But obviously, you know, this matchup specifically is a little bit more nuanced than that as well, so that's something that uh, you know to know for sure. But right now, this counter pick on a Hollow Bastion, it worked really well for Mides, uh game number two. So that might be something that uh, that we might want to see uh, this time around as well. I feel like there's not a whole lot uh, that Corrin can do in terms of just chasing each in the air, especially when we get to those like mid-range percents, because you don't have the access to the three platforms right that are different heights. So you can you know you can get a lot of combo, you can get a lot of juggling around, but also sitting underneath that platform can prove to be uh, very effective against Corrin just because, you know, Mudeis just has to react underneath. Here we go, Mudeis trying to, the ledge guard right here. We see him being a little bit more aggressive. And putting that place right there, is that going to do it? He had the jump. Wait out the toad. It has the jump. Here we go. Shattuck. Ooh, that was interesting. Running right behind him and slipping in that slipping in that F smash. We have not seen that so far this set. And gets the pin to boot and draws first blood in this game number four. Shattuck looking primed to just maintain that pace this uh, this set so far and make it into grands on the winner's side. But Yuda is trying to respond right here. Can you find a gimp right here? Great. Uh, again, the up B right there, you know, doing it that early, uh, even if it's really low, just so that you can armor through those hits. It's so important. Not gonna be able to find it right there, but bro, like that stall, that the, mini stall, like, literally, like oh you see, my like God. you see that Mudeis is trying to mix up the the ledge recoveries, right? He's trying to find a way to just like keep Shattuck on their toes, because that's where they found the most success with these ledge guards. And yeah. man, Mudeis of uh, Shattuck is literally adapting so so well. Yeah, just the fact that, uh, like you said, uh, adaptations are so key. And just, again, those very, like, small nuanced situations, just to hang on to your stocks just a little bit longer, have been proved, are, are proving to work out for Shattuck right now. But right now, Mudeis uh, already tied the tied the stocks up and now has a slight percent lead. So, I mean, this is no, this is no, this is anyone's game still. This is still not, you know, it can go to anyone right now. Yeah, but literally both players are looking for who's going to overcommit first so they can get, you know, one of the a big juggle going for uh, for Shattuck perhaps, or another ledge guarding opportunity for Mudeis, and Mudeis has been trying, trying to just stay on ledge because Shattuck has been so effective in the air, especially with these aerials. Yeah, absolutely, and the positioning of Shattuck at the ledge too is so good. Like if he gets right underneath Mudeis, and as soon as you see the the jump, just throw up up there, just coverage, right? And as soon as uh, Mudeis decides to go for a different option, holds down a little bit on that up B, does a good get off B tool, right? Just to get a little bit of breathing room on stage, right? Sometimes you might feel like the options are running out, and the pin right there. It's crazy because they side B to get away, and they still got hit with an instant pin. Yeah, that's the that's that range coverage right there from Shattuck, just consistently covering, and that's uh, Mudeis's winner's life on the line potentially if he can't close this out and force this to a game five. Taking that second stock is a great way to start. But man, oh, good small dodge. Yeah, we saw that <laughs> trying to get real fancy with it, and Shattuck looking like they're running away with 74%. And trying to get the two frame pin like you talked about earlier, Oscar, but not gonna be found here. Oh my goodness, and more aerials on the way, and Shattuck just staying, staying dominant. Mudeis trying to just get something offensively going quick. One stock apiece, oh, <gasps> able to get the back air, and that, that turn of snipe looking more and more prominent as these percentages get higher. 
Yeah, pins right there just to just to get away from the corner, right? Just to reset the situation. Hits underneath the platform too. Again, we saw the instant pin early. Doesn't decide decides to not go for it this time. Back air could do it here. Uh, F smash could do it here. We saw that earlier as well. The back air from right there. Wow. Gonna do it. And Shattuck, no game five. Three one over Mutes. Grand finals winner side. Yeah, Shattuck uh, absolutely putting on a clinic right there. It was I was wondering how the mo the air mobility was going to be able to compete with Peaches and man that sword and the fact of uh, the pin placement so so well yeah. working out for Shattuck and Shattuck is going to find their way on winner side grands and man gets what a chill set. gets to relax for just a little bit longer watch some of these games yeah no Shattuck looked Shattuck looked great textbook the whole time and the crazy thing is is that Mudes also looked really good the entire set it's just like there was one or two situations that ended up going uh, in Shattuck's favor and man it's just it was just the difference maker right there and I love the fact that so that replay right there you see him run in to the ledge thinking and last time he ran in like that he was trying to go for show up up there or just trying to get an f smash running right behind them but that time decides to do neither and just waits for mutes to hold forward finds the back air and the set so i'm